it's, it's hard to believe it's, you know, September 16th. We're on the back end of September now. And in another six days, fall begins. And I saw, uh, I guess as early as last month, Halloween decorations were in stores. And I guess it's not going to be too long until you start seeing Christmas stuff in the stores again, too. And when you think about this time of the year, you got to remember the Salvation Army and those wonderful bell ringers that appear at uh, locations around the area, too. You know, you, you, anybody can volunteer to be a bell ringer, uh, by the way. You can donate your time and, and do that for a Salvation Army. And, uh, and I've done them several, several years along with my church, and mm -hmm. it's a very rewarding experience. And uh, from the Salvation Army, Pradeep Ramaji joins us. Uh, Pradeep, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for allowing me to come to here. My Come pleasure. And Priscilla, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for allowing us to share our thoughts and about thank you. Christmas. And then yes. thank you so much. And thank you for coming in. And Steve Truex, who is the chairman of the board of the Salvation Army. Steve, good to see you again. Good to see you, Rob. Thank you. You guys have a lot going on between now and uh, the uh, Christmas season. And it's not just bell ringing. There's a lot of different activities, fundraisers, and such that will be taking place. Who wants to take the, the lead on this one and tell me about some of the things coming up, the Angel Tree and other uh, such so, things? Angel Tree, I would like to share the Angel Tree program. Yeah, come a little closer programs. to your microphone, if you mind, uh, Priscilla, a little closer into that. So um, this uh, Christmas, we have a lot of activities and then programs are going on uh, in the Salvation Army, um, the, particularly the Angel Tree program, mm -hmm. and then uh, Family Closet, and then family gift box programs. So these are all going and we are providing gifts to the uh, uh, families this, mm -hmm. uh, the, so this Christmas season. So um, you know that the, uh, the financial crisis is going on and then families are looking for need. So that this Christmas time, first of all, we uh, Angel Tree program, mm -hmm. uh, it provides uh, uh, gifts to the children. So every children deserves to experience joy in the Christmas morning. So that's we are providing them uh, the new um, clothings and gifts and toys to the kids this Christmas season. How will you administer the angel tree? How can people participate? So we have uh, October 1st to October 17th, 7th, we are opening our doors for registrations. The mm -hmm. families would come and uh, they will be registered and accepted as an angel. And then we make a wish list out of those applications. And then the wish list would be given to the donors. So that's they will go and shop for the kids. And they are getting back to us on December 9th with the gift bags. And then we are providing to the families drive, drive through um, uh, on uh, December 14th, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, Around 600 kids are getting benefited for that. That's awesome. So uh, do you go online and sign up for this? No, they are coming, visiting us. Is he, okay, where do they do that? Which so address? it is in the Salvation Army Martinsburg Corps. It is uh, located at um, 311 mm -hmm. Ellie Street. Uh, so we, we have Salvation Army there. They are coming there and uh, getting the registration. Okay, very good. Uh, Steve, some more detail on that too from you? <laughs> Well, through Rotary for years, I had uh, adopted a, an angel or two and bought presents for it. Last year was the first year that I participated during the distribution day, and I was amazed at the amount of presents that were collected, sorted out, and distributed. And it was just, it, it filled a large area at the church building that we have. And uh, Got to see a lot of very happy families leave, families that were going to have a joyful Christmas who other, otherwise might not have any at all. So I, I love our Angel Tree program. And if I could, looking at your uh, uh, your literature, it's for children ages uh, up to 12 years of age. Uh, and as you register, you do need to be able to prove the uh, uh, the a certificate, birth certificate, or passport of all the children. Uh, you need some proof of your in the household income. Uh, so I mean that mean it's means tested, uh, and the legal custody documents of the child. So there are certain things the the parent or the guardian needs to bring with them yes. as they register. But again, it's for our children in Berkeley, Jefferson, and Morgan County to ensure that on Christmas Day that they will have a gift under the tree. Yes. Yes, yeah. 
Yeah, and uh, again, that's at 111 Ellis Street. Right. 111 Ellis Street, Martinsburg. Pradeep, you were about to say? Yes, um, uh, besides the angel tree, we also uh, give the gifts, gifts to the children uh, by partnering with the Sheets Company. And uh, uh, we registered the kids from our community, from the, from the three counties, Panhandle. And uh, Sheets employees would buy the gifts. And... Uh, uh, we distribute them, and uh, last year oh, we did through the Angel Tree 300 kids and through the Sheets program 300, approximately 600 kids were helped. Yeah. That's an amazing number yes. of kids. How do, they, how do the families find out about what you're doing to be able to register? Yeah, we send our uh, flyers to different agencies and uh, uh, low-income families, neighborhoods, to the apartments, uh, friend office. So therefore, that's how they get to know. Mm -hmm. And we try to put in the newspaper and like the radio sure. show or yeah. or something that the word may be passed. And, uh, and the social media. Put, social media, too. We put on the Facebook and on our website. Well, those are all good ways to reach people. Right. And I know you'll reach a few on this program. Yes. Right. Yes. too so that's going to be very helpful as well and you have some other things going on too between now and bell ring in time what else are you doing in the community so um we opened the new two new programs mm -hmm. one is family closet it is similar to the um thrift store but mm -hmm. so it is like a free shopping the families can come and get uh, clothes and electronics and other goods and then the family essential uh, articles and everything from the um, Salvation Army. Okay. And that is free. Those are free. They just shop and take whatever they need. Okay. And that's also at 111 Ellis Street. Yes, sir. Yes. The same place. All right. Very good. And then in regards to the bell ringing, when will you start doing that? Uh, so uh, we, ring, uh, at, uh, we ring the bells at uh, uh, Walmarts. Uh, the Walmart in the Charlestown, Walmart in the Martinsburg, and uh, Walmart in the Spring Mill. And uh, we ring at uh, Hobby Lobby, and uh, on certain particular days, as the uh, the food line gives the permission, on those days we ring at the at those places, um, and um, some other few other local stores. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we going to from Walmart gives us a permission to ring after the Thanksgiving is over from the Black Friday. And Hobby Lobby, she, we can ring a little bit uh, one week of, one week or 10 days before the Thanksgiving. So we, we ring there. And uh, we, we, the Rotary, like uh, Steve told, they ring for us. And I'm also trying to pursue other civic, civic clubs to ring and help the support. Uh, because this is, this, uh, during this year, marked by the inflation mm -hmm. uh, and economical instability, and hardships on the people is more this year. Gifts from the community help the Salvation Army to navigate food insecurity and job loss or housing instability. instability. And we need more support this year. Uh, so I'm looking forward to having this season open up. And this year we're doing something new, is we are opening a uh, virtual kettle uh, the 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 virtual kettle where anybody can sign up and who have who, who wants to support the Salvation Army they can uh, uh, canvas and they can uh, uh, ask their friends to contribute to their bell uh, the, their bucket this is not literally standing in a, in front of the store but uh, if you, they can see the kettle and how much money they raised for it. this is the new Thing, concept which we mm -hmm. are doing this year and also we uh, the people uh, the the customers when they are passing by the store sometimes you know nowadays we, uh, everybody is having their debit cards and credit cards if they are having those kinds still if they want to um, uh, donate something and they don't have some cash or coins in their pocket uh, we are going to put the QR code on the signboard so with their phone they can uh, take that uh, their camera and put it that and it will give the link then they can go and uh, contribute to the salvation army kettle uh, on the virtual kettle so this is the new things we are doing this year that's very so, modern of you <laughs> yeah we are trying to get we are trying to get modern yes. <laughs> you know uh, many people uh, are carrying the cars and not having the cash much yeah. cash in their pockets mm -hmm. 
But you can always go back to the old way of doing things by calling a certain number, and that's 304-267-4612. Yes, that's our number. And that will do the same thing as your IR code. Yes, yes, yes. They can stop by at the Salvation Army. I want to drop a check. We will take it. How long have you been in the Martinsburg office? Uh, One year. One year. Where were you before then? Uh, I worked different uh, different areas. Uh, I worked three years in Mar- uh, in the French Royal, four years in Mar- French Royal, mm-hmm. and three years in Leesburg, and uh, three years in the uh, Prince George's County, mm-hmm. and three years in the Columbus, Mississippi. You have a great recall, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good memory, uh, Steve. There was a comment on uh, in our Facebook section that. Uh, for a while, we didn't see as much of a Salvation Army presence in this uh, community. I know maybe uh, seven, eight, ten years ago, we used to have the Salvation Army folks on for a while. Then we didn't. Uh, and when Pradeep contacted me, I said, oh, it's been a while since I've heard from anybody from the Salvation Army. Was it, Were there certain issues going on or personnel problems or anything? Well, like a lot of organizations, COVID hit us hard. And both for getting donations and for keeping people. We also had a a wonderful young couple who were the officers who were running it, and they brought me in. But after their third child, they needed to go in pursuit of more lucrative employment. So they left the Army. There was uh, some temporary leadership. And uh, things just didn't have the same energy for a couple of years. But then Pradeep and Priscilla came and asked me to be on the board, then asked me to be president of the board. And they have been so, so efficient and so dynamic as leaders that, yes, now we're trying to come back. Uh, in years past, Salvation Army was a much bigger presence in the community. We're back to do that again, and that's part of what I, I thank you for letting us convey. We are, we are going to do good things and big things in this community now. So the Army is back. Well, it's good to have you, and it's, uh, you think about Christmas season, you think about those bell ringers and those, yeah. the, all the time with the— the bell and the, the kettle and whatever. How much money do you end up collecting out of the kettles typically? Any idea? Yeah, this year we have a goal of uh, $49,000. 49000 That's 49, from all the kettles, all the days? And all the days for the whole season. That's mm-hmm. our goal. And, I, I uh, understand there's been some the, some interesting donations in those kettles over the years. Uh, <laughs> right. the, the, I guess there's been different types of money gold right. gold bars have been put into those kettles <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i think we found a, a ring in the a ring somebody donated a ring or yeah. just fell in <laughs> <laughs> so we, then at that time if you get something like that we are, we, i'll take you to the pawn shop if they give, they give you any money then I'll, I'll put it in the is that, is that what you do so do, do people donate those kind right. of things you know, often? Most, most of the more, most of the donations uh, uh, who got the help before? Mm-hmm. When they are passing by, they remember whole oh, Salvation Army helped us, and they would drop. You know, and some people, if they don't have the cash, I, I have to give something, and they drop something, some like some kind of ornament or something. Mm-hmm. Now, the money you collect with Red Kettle, pretty, mm-hmm. are, are the is the money does your mo- money remain local or does it go to yes, a national lo- dist- uh, distributor? What? No, local funds stays local. That is the policy. That's my policy. Yeah, mainly. You know, uh, so we want to spend what all the money raised here for for the use of uh, the social services, what we are trying to do. Uh, Priscilla, from the different places you folks have been, how would, how would you compare the need here in this Eastern Panhandle community to other places that you've been? So we worked in the um, London County. That is like a very highest, um, uh, the, the High highest income. richness. And yeah. then here, the poverty, I see that. And then um, that's why we are, we both are actually commi- um, committed our whole life to serve the community, but here the need is more. And then we need more help. And then our pantry almost empties um, last time, so that's we asked people to fill up that, com- uh, that pantry also. Time to time it is emptying, mm-hmm. so that uh, the need is more, so that a lot of families are coming and uh, the, that's why the two new programs I opened that that thrift store so that they can come and get the household items to take to their families and then we have like a family gift box program also seeing the need of the mm-hmm. community so the gift box program has filled up with all new items new clothes new toys new things um, electronics like that um, so that's we are helping community to get back to their on their feet 
um, the need is more, and we need more help too. To, so we are dedicated. We come morning to evening, and our social services is open morning at 9 to 4.30 p.m. Before that, it is not like that. But we opened our doors, our hearts mm-hmm. to help the people. Um, uh, it's a, according to our donations or according to our um, uh, the resources we have. But we are praying and then we are asking community to help us and trust us. And then uh, two new families, they're really, really excited. The community is excited. Um, the um, family basket program, mm-hmm. family basket program, family closet program and an angel tree program and then we have uh, different programs to help the youth so we are taking the summer camps freely um, they don't need to buy, spend any money for their children we are taking uh, their youth their children to the camps and then we are providing um, little um, what is the jobs to their to the children mm-hmm. 15 to 18 years and above, they can apply in our camps. They can work as a counselors. Oh. So that we have, uh, we are supporting their youth, their children to take to the camp. And then, um, where do we, you where do you do your camps? I'm sorry to interrupt. So the camp is in Rappahannock camps mm-hmm. in Virginia. Okay. So that that's the Salvation Army camp. Very good. So uh, it's uh, we are helping. We are open all the doors, all the aspects to help the community. Here, the need is higher and poverty is higher so um we worked in back in mississippi um mississippi um columbus Mm -hmm. so we saw there and then here also more than there i I think the covid after the covid uh, there's a drastic economical change that uh, that was also told uh, the low-income families and there is a time of adjustment from that economy to the, the current economy. Sure. In this adjustment, they still they are not they are recuperating, and even it has affected our donations. It, I mean, donors also get got affected, but the need is more. The need is more that because of the years probably the the the, the years of the economical changes, situations in that we are in that situation. That is the more crisis. Mm-hmm. And uh, I see need more here than the other places. Is Salvation Army an international program or mostly just in the U.S.? No, it is the Salvation Army is in 133 countries mm-hmm. currently. And uh, we are almost the programs are similar to helping the most needed families and the low income families. Uh, besides our church activity, mm-hmm. we serve and help because we love God and uh, uh, the uh, the Lord Jesus Christ gave made uh, the greatest command is to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. So our mission statement says, uh, uh, we are motivated by the love of God uh, to preach the gospel and to help the needed without discrimination. Mm-hmm. So we don't we don't brag and we don't try pursue other people. Uh, uh, into our religion, but uh, without without asking question, we will help the people with the love. That's as as succinct and as effective mission statement I think I've ever heard. That was well done. So, mm-hmm. Well, you get a compliment from Bill. That's pretty good because yeah. I've you. known him for twenty years. He's never complimented me. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, Rob. One of these days. Appreciate I'm you considering. <laughs> yeah. How long have you folks been with the Salvation Army? Uh, so. Uh, we become the Salvation Army official members in 2001. Okay. And uh, we, myself and Priscilla, we, uh, we came to this country in 2000. I came as a high school math teacher, and I became a volunteer uh, in the Salvation Army because when I saw they were feeding the, uh, feeding the people, the, uh, and I want to be a part of it, and I became a volunteer. And I see their church activity, church, become a church member. Mm-hmm. And we eventually called by God uh, and Priscilla and myself. We said we should we do, we should do this one rather than uh, doing the civil yeah. job. So in the Salvation Army, beauty is what, what why I attracted is helping the community and helping uh, and and then serving God and mm-hmm. serving God and serving the community at the same time. So that it is this is like a very wonderful opportunity and uh, very disciplined with the uniforms and then early morning come and help just 
just help the community and help God. It is very joy in that serving God and serving community. Um, and the uniforms are great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and you're from India originally. I yes, originally yes, yeah. from India. A very quick story. The most memorable, the most pleasurable Christmas of my life was spent in India, in oh. the very northeast uh, part. India is a is is a not very not a largely Christian country. There are right. little certain pockets. We're in the mountains, and on Christmas Eve, we could hear the church bells and people coming out singing. The whole valley mm -hmm. was just full of wonderful Christmas hymns. Mm -hmm. The next day, we saw a parade in a little small village, and it was the, the devil, someone dressed as a devil, and then all the school kids, uh, young kids, following someone playing the guitar, chasing the devil out of town oh. and everybody was singing oh. and praising it was a wonderful wonderful wow. uplifting experience what, what bill left out was he was dressed as the devil that day <laughs> i was the devil chased i was out chased of out of town hey uh, pradeep and Priscilla, thanks so much for coming in today great to meet you both Thank you. leave me the flyer if you don't mind i can read sure. it and publicize it on the air for you uh, steve good to see you again good to see you again rob and bill Thank you very if much. you'd like to Always volunteer for the salvation army steve how do they get in touch with you folks uh, could you or Pradeep or Priscilla. Yeah. How do you volunteer? Is there a phone number to call? Yes. Uh, uh, 304 267. 304-267-4612. Good to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. And if I don't see you before then, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>